Hannah. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much for coming um, and letting us do this assessment today. Sure. I'm Shatanya Sharis, and I'll be conducting the parent interview portion of the assessment. Great. So if you're ready, we can get started. Yes. Alrighty. So the first question I have is, what exposure has Zoe had to different languages or dialects? At home, I tend to speak a lot with my with my mother and my well, my sister. She we live in the same household. She lives upstairs, and I live downstairs. So, pretty much, me and my sister speak a lot of Spanish. Spanish. And, then, mm -hmm. and then when I go to my mother's house, um, my mom and I we speak Spanish. You know, our family speaks Spanish. So both, so grandparents as well as in the household, she right. speaks Spanish as well as English. Yes. Okay. All righty. Sounds good. Um, if you had to say which language does she speak more, would it be English or Spanish? Zoe? Yeah, Zoe. English. English. So she speaks primarily English. Primarily, yes. Do you think she um, she understands Spanish as well? She does. She does. Okay. She doesn't speak it though. She does, but she understands she it. She understands it, yes. Sounds good. So what, and for you, and this is, a, this is a question for you. Yes. What is your highest level of education? My highest level completed or high um, well, I'm currently in school now. Okay. And I'll be graduating in December. This semester is my this is my last semester. Oh, Lima. fall. Yes. Oh, congratulations. Thank to you. you. Thank you. And what is your major, if you mind me asking? Uh, political science. Political science. Sounds good. And you and you attend Lehman as well. I do. Okay. Um. Okay. My next question is, has there been any significant changes in your family structure recently? Um, let's say, for example, the birth of a child, um, any illnesses, relocations, anything that, you, that that comes to mind? No, the only thing is that we, my kid's father and I separated in 2017, so that's been the only... Recent? Yes. Yeah. Yes, so it's, you know, we don't live together anymore, so I, the kids live with me. Okay. But that's the only problem, not a problem, but that's the only stuff that they, the kids have gone through. It's just separation of the parents. Sounds good. Alrighty, my next question is, are there um, any family history of speech language or academic problems um, that you can think of in your family? No. Okay. No. No problem. And how does Zoe, um, how is her speech and language development compared to maybe her brother? or um, children her own, her own age in school, you know, kids that she's frequently around? She's, um, since she started elementary, she, um, she had issues where she would see letters, a P and a nine will look the same. So if I ask her to write a P, she will write a nine. Okay. If, if it's a six, the same thing, it, she'll write it like as a B. Um, also with the, the, the D's, um, she gets confused with the B and the D, so it's a, you know, just the way the letter faces, she's always had an issue with that. Okay. Uh, she's in second grade now. Um, I can say last year she had a little bit of an issue where, you know, you go on break in the summer, you go back to school, um, you go into a new classroom. She, she wasn't comfortable enough where her it, it messed up her her reading a little bit so she wasn't at her reading level okay so that was an issue but towards the end of the year and that's something that i've been noticing as a pattern she doesn't she doesn't feel comfortable in the beginning of the school year mm -hmm. but towards the end she it's gets right. it she she's she she steps, back. she steps back into her place and then what i noticed this year going into second grade she her report was amazing she went from not from having anxiety in the first few months mm -hmm. to she's got she's at her late her grade level so her good. memorization is is great her reading is great um so there's no issues now so it's just i guess the comfortableness that she was feeling in a classroom in a big classroom and i noticed her classroom last year was very loud she oh, had wow. um i think they're called ict mm -hmm. So it was a very loud classroom, so she wasn't able to focus, focus. and the noise would bother her a lot. Okay. Um, and then my other question, um, how is her playing skills? Um, how would you describe her playing skills? Um, With playing skills or her vocabulary compared to, you know, like, does she have lots of vocabulary? Does she loves to talk? You know, She, like loves, she loves to talk. Mm -hmm. She loves to play. 
but she likes to play by herself okay. at times. And is she great at problem solving when she's playing or, you know, or no. interacting with her brother or? She likes to be in control. She likes <laughs> to, she likes people to do things her way. She she does a lot of things with um she wants she's a mad scientist so <laughs> when she's alone in her room and she's playing she makes a big mess in her table and it's filled with water glue all sorts she's of experiments she experiments she's everything awesome. you go to the refrigerator there's ice cubes of of I don't know what she puts in there but she she plays well mm -hmm. but she gets a little you know i'm in control you need to play what i'm playing attitude she sounds she sounds like my kind of girl <laughs> um my next question is um from today's assessment when zoe was in the room yes can you say that um during the evaluation that is how she normally acts um is that how she normally acts typically like throughout the day like in interactions with different people she is. She was a little bit shy because it was her first time, but okay. I think if more time with her, mm -hmm. she will show you more of okay. Zoe. Yeah. But she held back a little bit. She did. She held back a little okay. just because she, she was a little bit nervous, but she, this is, this is a little taste of what Zoe is. <laughs> <laughs> a little taste. Um, so she's, so normally you're saying like she, so the interaction that we had with her, you were, you were saying that this is how she yes. potentially normally yes. acts or plays. She is. Okay. She, yes. She, her vocabulary, she talks a lot. She likes to, um, certain things, she, she's into sharks. So she talks about sharks a lot. Does she watch Baby Shark? She does watch Baby <laughs> Shark. <laughs> I love that video. She, she talks about the different kind of jaws, teeth, the, oh, yes. their, the sizes. Sharks are very interesting. Yeah, so yeah. I, she, she, she's very good at that. She, but she does love to talk. Sounds good. And then, just a couple more questions. Sure. Um, so what does Zoe do that makes you think that she is smart? Like, is there any one thing that you can maybe like pinpoint or, you know, maybe like a strength or a weakness, is, you know, that you can say um, in describing Zoe? Her memory. Memory. She has great memory. She can remember stories as you were, she was reading some of the stories to her. Um, she's very good at finding things. Okay. Um, she has a great memory. Um, and when she's doing her homework, mm -hmm. I noticed that a, her her reading has become her main source to to helping her mm -hmm. in, in in remembering. So she likes to read a lot. Um, her math is amazing. She's it's just her memory, the way patterns. She's, wow. she's into patterns. You know, she may have that little issue where she may not the letters seem mm -hmm. different to her. Yes. But she still read it. She'll still she still it. recognizes. She still recognizes. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Um. And this question may may sound odd, mm -hmm. but it's part of my question here. So sure. I'll ask. Um, is Zoe clumsy? Yes. <laughs> she Zoe, she likes to fall. She likes to like she likes to fall. Like. I think she likes to fall sometimes. She falls a lot, and I think she is sometimes it seems that she. Good point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes it feels that she likes to fall on mm -hmm. purpose, but she falls a lot. She likes okay. to like just fall. I'm like, what happened? That must be funny. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, two more questions, and then we're sure. Done. Um, what progress or regression has happened over the past six months that you can remember? Maybe in school or at home, or maybe in regards to a report card or or any sicknesses or anything you know like that has happened within the last six months that you can remember her progress progress or regression um her progress her reading i say her reading has gone she's her reading is amazing her okay. reading has like i said last two years it she's she wasn't at her reading level and it was a concern to me and the mm -hmm. teachers um they at one point said that she was going to get left back she wasn't at her reading level but her reading level now but is... But her reading level, first marking period, is normally in a two or a one. Mm -hmm. her, she was proficient. Wow. She Her reading has progressed, and I thought, you know, being on break from the summer, that she would lose track of that. Mm -hmm. Her reading just, you know, she's, we're outside, she's reading signs, she's reading everything that's outside. She just loves reading. Um, 
Her regression, maybe just her behavior. She has temper tantrums. <laughs> Normal, I guess, but um, her tantrums, okay. but something that we work on. Okay. And, um, still working. Um, and lastly, mm -hmm. can you give me a few examples of child best communication? Um, um, and maybe I'll have you write them down, um, just like examples of maybe I'll give you an example um, maybe just like a picture like if you could tell me like some things maybe three or four things or they said ten but um, of what Zoe is able to do you know like an example of um, something complex that she might have explained to you in the past and and it was like oh my god it was like wow, I can't believe she got, you know, kind of one of those moments. Mm -hmm. um, something important, maybe where she used the best language skill that she ever had that you can remember, you know, of recent. Um, hmm. Besides, besides her memorization and her reading, I would say, um, her drawing. Her drawing. I mean... She she used to paint. She used to draw just sticks. Now she's more detailed. Is she's more detailed, and I never think you know. Sh and I wish I had a picture to show it to you. You could send me a picture. I'll send it to yes. you. She does. Um. So she she has these LOL dolls. You know, they're little yes. miniature dolls. And um, she always drew stick, and she would always get upset. Always get upset because she would even watch YouTube videos, mm -hmm. and she would never get it. She would just she would just get up so upset. And her drawing now looks it, it it's not perfect to some people. Yes. It's not your you know, it's mm -hmm. it's, it's a second seven year old drawing, but it's it looks perfect to me. And to you you can you you can distinguish to say like it's what? it's something that she that she did that she wasn't able to do before. Yeah. And because of the detail you're saying her drawing it's 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 fun I, I love it. I love the way she draws her the eyes. And you have to see the it, it, you just have to see the picture in order to understand. Yeah. And how about how about anything regarding like problem solving um, that you could think of that like she was able to solve a problem and it was like oh my goodness I can't believe she did that. She did. She recently <laughs> did something. Yes. Um. She did. She. Uh, can I say with her behavior? Sure. So she's. I'm, it's hard for me as a single mother mm -hmm. to with two kids and yes. disciplining them mm -hmm. in a way that I was taught. Yes, it may not have been the right way mm -hmm. or you know the wrong way, but I'm learning. Um, yes, and I've never. I my way of disciplining has always been: this is what you're gonna do. You don't ask any questions. Why? So Zoe came to me and said to me, "Mom, um, when I ask you why." you're telling me to do something it's just that I don't understand why I have to do this because I'm only seven years old yes you know so I need to understand why is this going to help me mm -hmm. to you know like go brush your teeth you know why am I gonna brush my teeth you know what's the point point? and I said well and she says you know I went to the dentist with you and I understand the importance of now why you tell me to eat my vegetables so oh. And you didn't explain to me why I need to eat my vegetables, but now I am here mm -hmm. sitting at the dentist getting ready to get my tooth pulled, and now I understand why I can't eat candy yeah. and why I should eat my vegetables and I should brush my teeth. And she says, and I'm sorry for not listening. And I, mm -hmm. so, she said that? yeah. Oh my so the understanding of my, when I discipline them, is not just telling them what to do. Mm -hmm. I have to also explain to them, and then I have to also come back to them and tell them. This is why I yeah. did this because this is you. You know, you need to listen to me. And then I guess this will, this still ties into the last question. Mm -hmm. um, would you say that this is her that that example could be one of her highest level of yes. communications that she's ever had with you? Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. Because she not only saw yeah. that the pain yeah. that she went through mm -hmm. of having that tooth pulled, mm -hmm. yeah. but now she understands why. She has why. To and why is it important to eat your vegetables? And I, 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 when she explained that to me, I felt like she grew, like she's growing mm -hmm. as a little girl oh. and she's understanding more. That's amazing. Yeah. Alrighty, so I think that's the end of our questions. Okay. 
thank you so much. You're this very was welcome. So detailed. <laughs> yeah, so helpful. I'm glad. Thank you. So we we're gonna do a little activity. We are gonna pretend as though we're at the supermarket, and we are going to do some shopping with the basket. Do you use a basket when you go to a supermarket? Put your stuff inside. So we're gonna use this, and this is going to be our cashier. Uh, maybe we can give her a name. Hmm. What do you want to name her? Let's name her Ella. Ella. Okay. So, hmm. Maybe we should get some of this. What is this? Apple. Apple. You can put the apple inside the basket. Very good. And maybe we should get some of this. Cookies. Cookies. And maybe we should get some of this. like a pie. Uh, it's called a toe day. A toe. toe day. Good job. And maybe we should get some of this as well. What is this? Mm. Cool. Cool. There you go. Inside the basket. And now, hmm, what do we do with the items when we're finished? We have to check it out at the cashier, right? Mm -hmm. So let's walk, 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 walk to the cashier. Say hi, Ella. I have some items today and I need you to help me. Hmm. Let's give Ella say let's give Ella the apple. Let's give Ella the apple. There you go. And the uh, cookies? Cookies. The toe day? Okay. And the coop. The coop. And now Ella is gonna cash it out. And now when Ella finish cashing it out, we have to take it home. Ding! In the basket. Apple in the basket. Ding! Coop in the basket. Ding! Toe day in the basket. Ding! The cookie in the basket. Thank you, Ella. Bye, Ella. Now we're gonna go home. What do we have in the basket? A cookie, an apple, a coop. A coop. A toe day. Good job. So now we're going to go home. We're going to walk, 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 and we're home. Now let's take out the apple from the basket. Do you want a bite of the apple? No. No. Maybe I'll take a bite of the apple. Do you want to make something with the apple? What can we make with the apple? Apple pie. Yummy. Maybe we can make some apple pie. What else do we have in the basket? A cookie. A cookie. What's your favorite cookie? Chocolate chip? You can take a bite of the cookie. Can I get a bite? Yummy. Now we can take out the coop, which is the coop. Very good. And the toe day. Good job. Thank you, Zoe. You did a great job. Yay. We're going to do another activity. And I'm going to ask you to say some made up words. These are probably words you never heard before and I need you to say them exactly the way I say it. Ready? Yeah. Can you say naibe? Naibe. Voib. Voib. Taj. Taj. Doib. Doib. Payback. Payback. Chow vague. Chow vague. Veishap. Veishap. Noi tab. Noi tab. Chin noi tab. Chin noi tap. Nai choi vape. Nai choi vape. Doi tau vab. Doi tau vab. Te voi chag. Te voi chag. Ve te ke doi. Te. Do you want me to say it again? Mm -hmm. Ve te ke doi. Okay, that's okay. Na choi toy bab. Na choi toy boy bab. Okay. Ta va chi nai. Cha va ni boy. Good job. Very good. Thank you, Zoe. Hi, my name is Jennifer, and I'm going to be reading you a story today. It's called Frog, Where Are You? 
So there was once a boy who had a dog and a pet frog. He kept the frog in a very large jar in his room. But one night, his dog and him were sleeping, and his frog jumped out of the jar. And when they woke up that morning, the jar was empty. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So the, so the boy looked everywhere. He looked in the shoe. The dog was even looking inside the jar. Oh, the dog put his head in the jar. Yeah, he put it in. And then they were looking outside the window. And the dog still had the jar. <laughs> oh, gosh. Maybe he's stuck. Uh-oh. But then he fell out. And he still had the jar in his head. Oh, no. He and could the, bang his head. Yeah, he could bang his head. That's really dangerous, huh? So then the little boy, he was so worried about his dog. The dog fell out of the window and the jar cracked <laughs> everywhere. So the little boy ran to see if his dog was okay. Would you do the same? Mm -hmm. So then the boy looked outside with the dog to check if the frog was there. And they were calling out his name. He was like, frog, where are you? So they went inside the woods to look for him. See, there's a bunch of trees. So he found the hole, and he was like, maybe the frog's inside the hole. So he called down to inside the hole, and he was like, frog, where are you? And the dog looked up to the beehive, and he was like, maybe he's in here. Uh, the bees are flying out. Yeah, the bees are flying out everywhere. The dog thinks he might be inside. Uh -oh. <gasps> uh -oh. but the dog, the child was looking inside the hole, and then a um, mole rat came out. What's a mole rat? <laughs> a mole rat? It's like a type of animal that just goes inside under the dirt. But then it came out and it poked him in the nose because he was looking inside. The dog shaked the tree, and all the bees are coming out. Yeah, look at him. He's barking, and all the bees are coming out. It's dangerous. Uh, but then the beehive fell, and all the bees came out. The bees are probably mad. Yeah, the bees are so mad. So then, the boy climbed the tree, and he saw another hole inside the tree. But then an owl came out, and he was like, what are you doing in my house? And he flew away, and the child fell off. And he got scared. And then the dog, he was being chased by all these bees. Because they all did get mad at him, right? And then the child saw a big rock. And he was like, maybe the frog's behind the rock. That's a deer. Oh, it's a deer? Why do you think it's a deer? Because those look like deer's horns. Okay, let's see what happens. So he jumped on top of the rock and he started calling out, Frog, where are you? And then the dog came. He was finally, he finally got away from the bees and he was sniffing around trying to see if he could find anything. You were right, a deer popped out. <laughs> and he ended up being on top of him. Uh oh. Uh oh, what do you think is going to happen? Look at the dog. And the dog was still sniffing between the rocks trying to find the frog. I think, um, the deer's gonna walk away with um, the kid. Yeah, maybe he will. <gasps> You're right, he did. Look at him, he's still right on top of the, the deer. The dog is barking and at The dog's him. like, What are you doing? Why are you on top of there? But then he fell off. <gasps> the puppy! The puppy's falling. Oh no. What do you think's gonna happen? I think they're gonna hurt themselves. They're gonna hurt themselves. Okay. These are some trees, and they're falling off. They're falling he off fell in a puddle. Maybe oh. the frog's in there. Maybe. Let's see. He fell right on top of the puddle, and the dog fell right <laughs> on top of him. Oh, no. 
And look at the deer, he's so happy mm -hmm. that he got rid of them because he was being annoying, right? Mm -hmm. So he fell inside the puddle, he was all wet, and he still couldn't find his frog. The puppy got so wet. And the puppy got really maybe, wet too. Maybe, maybe, that looks like a face. Like a face? Yeah, it looks like a face. It that does. That's a tree. Yeah, that's a tree. Maybe the frog's in the Maybe, let's see what happens. So then, he sees a log, and he tells his dog needs to be quiet, because he's going to check to make sure not to scare the frog away. His dog's still in the water. Yeah, he's still in the water, and he's peeking his head out. So then he goes right over the log, and his dog joins him. What do you think they're going to find? The frog. The frog? Look what they found. Two, found two frogs. They found a mommy frog and a baby frog. Maybe they had a baby frog. Yeah, maybe they did have a baby frog. And they were look, and the baby frog was looking. Maybe the baby frog ran away, so then he could find his mom. Yeah, maybe he did. Look at them. They're so curious to see why they found two frogs instead of just one. What are those? More baby, more frogs. baby frogs. And look at him, he's so surprised to see that there's so many frogs. And not it's not just one frog. His hair changed. His hair changed? Yeah. It's now fluffy. It's more fluffy, maybe because he got wet. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's all a mess. Like his dog too. <laughs> so he found two frogs and then a bunch of baby frogs. Mm -hmm. So then they take their frog back. The one that they lost in the beginning, they finally found him, and they waved goodbye to his other family members. They're like, bye, frog. And then the rest of his family stays back together, and happily ever after. There's a baby frog right there. Yeah, and there's all these baby frogs, and the mom frog, and the dad frog. The end. Did you like the story? Yeah. Okay. So, can you tell me what happened? Can you tell me the story all over again? The story was about first the, the, the boy and the dog put the um, frog that they found in a jar that was mm -hmm. around in the boy's room. And, and, and they washed the frog and, and the puppy sniffed his nose into the jar. Yeah, very good. That was the dog and um the the little boy the the frog jumped out. Can you tell me more about the dog and the little boy? The dog and the little boy are are probably best friends. They are. And then what happened? In the morning, the dog and the um the boy they looked into the jar. Mm -hmm. And they were surprised that the dog, that the um, that the frog wasn't there. Oh no! What do you think happened to the frog? And then they searched around, and the dog put his head into the jar. Mm -hmm. And 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 the kid looked into the the shoe. Good. And what did you do after that? They looked out the window, and they said. Frog, frog, where are you? Mm -hmm. And what about the dog? The dog is just sitting there and he is still on his head. Still stuck there, right? Mm -hmm. And then what happened? The dog falls. Oh no. What about the kid? What is, what is He's he? worried. He's so worried. Okay, so then what happened after that? The, the kid ran outside to take his dog can you tell me about the jar? The jar broke while the dog landed. Yeah. But what, how was the dog? The dog felt scared. He was scared, right? Mm -hmm. But he was happy. He was okay. So then where did they go? They they went across the house over here. Mm -hmm. to, then they said, Frog, where are you? Good. I think they, they yelled like, like they yelled um, in the in the in the when mm -hmm. they were yelling out the window. 
Yeah, they were yelling. So then where did they go into? The forest. Yeah, they went into the forest. And where was the kid looking? In that hole. Can you tell me about the dog? The dog was barking at the beehive because he thought the frog was in the beehive. Okay. And how about the bees? How did they feel? Mad. They were mad. So tell me about the boy. The boy, um, the, um this thing pinched his nose. The mole rat? <laughs> the mole rat bit his nose. Okay, good. And the dog was shaking the tree, and mm -hmm. the beehive fell, and all the bees came out because they were mad. Yeah. And then what was the boy doing in all the dogs? The boy was looking into this hole. Mm -hmm. Where did he go up? A tree. The owl, the owl popped out and he fell. And, and the owl said, what are you doing in my house? He did. And then what's the dog doing? The dog is running away from the bees because the bees are chasing him. Yeah. So where did they try to look next? Uh, behind the rock. Okay. And then what happened? The dog finally got away from the bees. Mm -hmm. and, and the boy climbed onto the rock mm -hmm. and he held it up on those because he didn't know what they were mm -hmm. and and he was screaming frog where are you good that owl was right there yeah it's the same owl before right uh -huh. okay. and then and then the deer put his head up because mm -hmm. he doesn't know who was touching his horns mm -hmm. and the, and the boy was on the deer's head yeah, what about the dog? Can you tell me about the dog? The dog is sniffing through the rocks. Yeah. And then the, um, the deer ran away with the kid, and the dog was barking at the um, deer. How do you think the dog felt about the deer with being carrying, carrying away the boy? Mad. He was mad? Mm-hmm. The deer stopped, and he the deer turned his head mm -hmm. to knock them off and mm -hmm. then the dog slipped. Pretty good. And what about here? Here is a bunch of trees. A bunch of trees they were falling down. And what happened here? They fell into the puddle and the dog landed on, on the kid and the deer was happy. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about this part? This part is when um the kid got up and sat and the dog was on his head and they were soaking wet. They were. And then the boy said Shh, to the puppy mm -hmm. so then he could look over. And then the boy looked over and then the boy followed him. And then the dog followed him. Mm -hmm. What were they looking over? They were looking over the the tree. Okay, good. And then they were surprised because they found two frogs. Mm -hmm. And this is the mom, and this is the kid. And then they were shocked, and they saw, found babies, and the mom with the kid and then there is a lot of babies here. Good. How do you think they felt? Surprised. So surprised. So then what happened? How did it end? Um, they, they took their frog that they were looking for mm -hmm. and then they waved behind so then they could say bye to the frog's family. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. They were, yeah. then the frogs and the the mommy frog and the daddy frog and the other babies were watching them leave. Yeah. Wow, that did a great job. Ahora te voy a leer una historia de un conejo y un niño. Fue un día un niño llevó un conejo en su mochila. 
Cuando llegó a la escuela, el conejo se salió de su mochila y empezó a saltar todos los lados y los niños estaban tan sorprendidos. Pero el niño tuvo una idea y dice, ¿por qué no le doy una zanahoria? Una zanahoria al conejo para que regrese para atrás, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces el niño cerró la zanahoria y se lo enseñó al conejo para que lo encontrara para atrás de nuevo. Llegó su mamá, el niño. Llegó a la escuela porque ella se dio cuenta que el conejo no estaba en su casa. Después la mamá se llevó al conejo para su casa para atrás y todos los niños y la maestra le dijo adiós. ¿Ahora me puedes contar la historia para atrás en español? He found a bunny wandering around, so he found it and he picked it up and he put it into his book bag. Okay, and después? The bunny jumped out of, of his book bag and he jumped from there, from on, his, on her desk. Mm -hmm. Then the bunny ran and jumped and jumped. And the teacher called um, his parents. Very good. So then what happened? And después, what happened? He had an idea, mm -hmm. and in his he had an idea of of carrots, cause cause bunnies like carrots, and there was carrots in his lunch bag. Okay. And then. Y después, ¿quiénes son estas personas? The teacher, find, the teacher went out to get um, the boy's mom and, and they, they were so confused because mm -hmm. her, her child was with a bunny, feeding the bunny, and they're watching. ¿Y qué crees que pensaban los niños del conejo? Mm -hmm. ¿Y después qué pasó? The mom took away the bunny and she was very upset. Muy bien, ahora te voy a hacer unas preguntas, ¿ok? ¿Cómo reaccionaron estos niños aquí? Ay. ¿Y qué hicieras si el conejo estuviera saltando en tu clase? En la clase, the bunny ran away. Because it it was um it was happy and mm -hmm. it was bored okay y por qué crees que la mamá supo que tuvo que venir a la escuela the mom took away the bunny and then she walked away and they were waving by y qué piensas que le va a pasar al niño cuando él regrese para su casa sad va a estar muy triste por qué they have a smile on their face, so I think they're happy. Okay. So, muchas gracias por decirme la historia en español y tratar lo más que puedes. Okay. Hiciste muy bien.